Hello, hello guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Blair Lamb. If you're not new around here, welcome back. We are in the beautiful Outer Banks of North Carolina. If you know the area, we are specifically in Duck. We are staying in a home right now that we have rented for the week with my parents, my sister and her family, and then my family of four. And um, we got here yesterday. So let me tell you a little bit about our travel day here um, because it's about 5.45 or 6 p.m. on our first full day. So rewinding a little bit. So our flight out of Dallas yesterday was at 10 a.m. So we got up around 6, left the house around 7, got to the airport a little after 8, and then by the time we got through security, got checked in, got some coffee, some donuts for the kids. It was about 9, and then we boarded around like 9.30. So it was actually a very smooth you know, getting to the airport and getting through the airport. Then we flew from Dallas to Norfolk, Virginia, and we landed in Norfolk, and then we went and got our rental car. Our biggest headache on our travel day last year, aside from the traffic, which we'll get to in a second, was getting our rental car. It took like, I think three hours last year. It was an extremely long wait, and then we ended up canceling with our original rental car agency and then booking a new one because it was just taking so so long well this year we learned our lesson and it took us five minutes to we got off the airplane we went right over to the rental car counter and they you know handed us our keys basically it was super quick so we were really grateful for that because that made the whole that part of the travel day super straightforward and a lot less stressful we grabbed those keys, we got in our rental car, which is a Toyota RAV4. Great car, very tight with all of our beach suitcases and our umbrella and all of that. Two car seats and everything like that. So next year we will definitely rent a bigger one. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> then the car ride is supposed to take about an hour and 45 minutes from the airport to our rental, but because of the traffic of everybody trying to get to the Outer Banks and it's, you know, there's only one way in. We ended up, it ended up taking about three hours. We sat in about an hour cumulatively of traffic, which is okay. A little iffy with the kids, but actually everybody did pretty well. Um, and so then we got here yesterday at around six or seven. And um, so it was pretty much a 12 hour travel day, which is what we anticipate when we're traveling here every summer. So it, it actually went really smoothly. It's just tiring. So that we put the kids to bed very early last night, right at eight, um, eight Eastern time, which is seven central time. Um, and we went to bed relatively early too. Of course they were up super, super early and I got up with them at like 630 and went out to the beach with them and let them run around and play. And that was super fun. And we've just had a really nice day. So <clears throat> we went we did like breakfast in the morning. It's Father's Day today, so happy Father's Day. If any of there, if there are any fathers watching or if anybody's husband is in the background listening to this video, happy Father's Day to you too. So we woke up and did breakfast together and we exchanged gifts among the dads and um, my sister just walked by. She just took an outdoor shower, so she's in a towel cracking up. I'm not gonna flip the camera around on her, but I will in a little bit once she's dressed. Um, so we did breakfast all together and then we got everybody sunscreened up and in their swimsuits, went out to the beach, spent several hours out there. Then I brought Colin back here to nap for a couple of hours. I laid down and napped with him. Well, not with him. He was in his pack and play, but I napped simultaneously. And then we ate lunch and then went back out to the beach. And then we just came in and I just grabbed a shower. Like I said, a couple of minutes ago and like, I don't have makeup on or anything. Like I'm, we're not even worrying about it on this vacation. It's just all about just like relaxing. It's very nice. So um, our room is like a disaster zone. Can you see? It's such a mess. Typically, if it is not my night for dinner, which it is not my night for dinner tonight, my mom actually brought Maryland crab meat and put it on ice and brought it down here. And so um, she's making Maryland crab cakes tonight. She named a couple of other things that they're making as well. So I will show you that here in a minute. Um, but normally if it's not my night for dinner while somebody else is cooking dinner I pick up our room and kind of reset it for the evening get the kids stuff ready lay out pajamas the whole nine yards 
So it's been a really nice day. My mom took Colin on a bike ride. She got one of those bikes that has a toddler seat on the back and she put Colin on it and they took a bike ride around the community here. And she said he just absolutely loved it. We've never done that with him. So I was glad that he got to do that. He absolutely loves the beach. He's having so much fun digging and splashing and throwing seashells and rocks and whatever. And of course, Nora is and Henry, like the two of them are thick as thieves having such a good time. So it's been really nice to be here um, and just, it's like taking a deep breath. I, I just love being at the beach. So I just wanted to introduce the week, kind of tell you a little bit about our travel day and kind of what we've been up to today. I'll show you what we're eating for dinner. And then I just plan on not vlogging fully every single day, you know, morning, noon, and night, but just showing you clips here and there through the rest of our week. So we traveled yesterday, which was Saturday. Today is Sunday. And then we leave again on Saturday. So we still have you know, all day tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday before it's another travel day. So we're gonna take that time and just really enjoy it. So welcome to our week at the beach. Well, hi my peeps, <laughs> I'm back. Making some crab soup, but even with the bay leaf in it, and crab cakes. They have not gone into the broiler yet. They need to go in, some bread. Um, Cucumber salad. Cucumber salad. Oh wait, gotta show them this part. A little oh, mozzarella caprese. Come on! And this is our appetizer. It's crab, like chunks of crab, and then it's all the different sauces, which is kind of fun. And your kids love it. <laughs> they do? Your kids love it. And today, we went for a bike ride, and I took um, Colin out and put him on the back of like, one of those baby rider things, and we rode bikes all around, and he loved it. It was so much fun. We gotta get a picture of that. I know. We did. Uh, Riley oh, took a picture. I want to see it. That's it super great. cute. And, and this is what I gave yeah. my husband for um, Father's Day. Do you guys know what this is? I don't really know how to use it. But it's a... Um, is that how you do it? Something like that. I don't know. Goes in like this, and you put either oranges, grapefruits, pomegranates, whatever in here. It's what they used to probably have seen it in um, restaurants and bars. And then you squeeze it down, and it all comes out fresh orange juice, fresh grapefruit juice. And he made grapefruit crushes, which Blair, you've talked about. Yes. Which is vodka, Sprite, and triple sec. Or a skinny crush is vodka. Soda water. Or Sprite Zero, which is what we use. Or Sprite Zero, because that's probably sweeter. Yeah. And triple set. And I don't really like oranges or, I don't know, I don't love citrus. So I don't like oranges or grapefruit. So guess what I had? <laughs> My favorite fruit. Muddled blueberries. That actually looks really good. It, it looked better before, but muddled blueberries, so it's a blueberry crush. So muddled blueberries, vodka, and triple set. I think the best way to make it is to have a co the vodka coordinate with the citrus. So use, use orange vodka with the orange or grapefruit vodka with grapefruit. And then, like I said, we use Sprite Zero. And um, this is a very big thing in Baltimore where I grew up. And it's not very big anywhere else, but we call them, the main one is orange crushes, and then different restaurants will have blueberry crushes, grapefruit crushes, all, all other kinds of crushes. So. Wait, I'm showing this too. Oh, what's this? Wow. There's more. <laughs> and this is seafood gumbo. Oh, wow. Complete with, what are those things called? Crawfish. People call them crawdads. Yeah, I mean, and it is like pure seafood. Like they, it, Oh, Tommy. Look at these. Oh. Tommy. You don't have to be in Just this. say hi to the girl. She, she can end This is no, my sister's I, husband. I, hello. No, I was telling Allie we should do something um, heinous in the background. What? <laughs> what do you mean heinous? I thought it was just something Something, sil fun. something silly, silly in the background. Yeah. Like, hey, no. Here we are in the front ground. <laughs> what? Allie, how are you doing? Everyone asks me every day how you're doing, how you're feeling. I'm doing great. I'm feeling so much better. I'm in that honeymoon phase of pregnancy. You're 18 weeks. Got that energy back. Eliza's playing with the trash bag. Share how big they want the gender is. I know. People at, I had like four people ask me today. Are you, is she having a boy or girl? I think I'm going to take a picture here and share. Okay, so, so by the time this video goes up, I probably can share. After that. Yeah. My husband's teaching me 
how to do crawfish. Well, I just wanted to. Riley, you haven't said hi yet either, have you? Hey. Happy Father's Day to everyone who celebrates. <laughs> Well, they're all women. Yeah. Some men. You have yeah. some men. Well, maybe the husband's in the background while the women watch it. Yeah. But look, he's eating a crawfish. Oh, I'm eating crab meat on the ground. Yeah, we did a boil last weekend in my parents' house. No, like, Eliza, you're the one to get me the views. Come here, gentle girl. This is how she crawls. You're the cutest. She's eating crab chunks of jumbo long crab meat on the Eliza, was, your crab meat. were you born for the camera? I did not. Well, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> She's like, let me just keep going. <laughs> are you getting dizzy? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> you can't eat this off the ground. She's falling over. You can't eat it off the ground. <laughs> I went to take a drink and my mom started yelling at me and I thought something was wrong. She just wanted to show our drinks on camera. <laughs> it's so I made an orange crush. Look how good that looks. She did it homemade with that thing. And look, here's the blueberry crush. You see how it just goes from, oh, it's so good. I'm gonna get it close, how do I do that? Mm, muddled blueberries. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to the beach. And this is our view. Can you see? Let me get closer. Can you see? Right, the ocean right there. So. One day, maybe we'll live at the beach. I want to be in here again. <laughs> Hi, all my peeps. <laughs> I love being on your little camera. <laughs> Hi, Santa. Did you bring me a present? Did you bring me a present? <laughs> hello, hello. I'm standing in front of, let me show you my beautiful view right on the beach and it is Allie and her husband's night for dinner so they are making Greek chicken bowls which is one of my favorites I'm really looking forward to it oh Kali oh so it is evening again I was planning on filming more during the day but it was just one of those days that got away from me let's see what time it is it's 6 30 now Allie and Tommy are making dinner Tommy's grilling the chicken and Allie's getting all of the toppings and the rice and all of that kind of stuff ready the kids have been up from the beach for a couple of hours. They're all showered. Some of them are in PJs. Some of them are in just comfy outfits. And then my parents took the older two children, so Nora and then Henry, who were both three, to a toy store. And they got to pick out some fun toys. And they, like, I mean, grandparents taking to a, you to a toy store at the beach, like, what could be better? So they had a great time. So it's been a really fun day. And, um... The kids are, have been getting up at the absolute crack of dawn here, like 6 a.m., which in Texas time is 5 a.m., so it is very, very early. So I got up with them this morning and hung out with them. We came up and we did breakfast and we watched cartoons and played. We went out to the beach and played for a while, and then I ended up going and getting back in bed around 10 because by that point I'd been up for five hours and I was exhausted. And I slept for like 90 minutes or so and then spent the day at the beach. We came back up. We all just showered and got dressed and now we're doing, now we're doing dinner. So that's what our day has been. It is so nice, Allie. Isn't it so nice staying in the same house together? Because we yeah. just like co-parent. This morning when I came upstairs at the earliest crack of dawn, Henry, Allie's oldest, was already up here. So I just made breakfast for Henry and Nora. My mom went and took them out to the beach. Then Allie was helping. Like we just all pitch in. It's like so nice. It's actually so nice. So. Communal living, Allie says. Henry, come show what you got. What is that? <laughs> that is what Henry picked out it's at the toy store. It's a rooster body. <laughs> I'm going to squirt at your owl. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Tommy, what's going on with you? Uh, just grilled some chicken, gonna chop it up for some uh, Greek bowls. Chicken thighs. Looking good. Tommy, I didn't know this, but I found out yesterday that he was sad for my vlog last year because he was hardly in it. So here this time I'm giving you extra oh, air time. Oh, yeah. I'm Whoa, in it. I'm in it. Oh, here he is. I'll do a solo <laughs> debut later. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> solo debut? That should be, that should be really good. Yeah, you 
Did he say yesterday he wanted to do something heinous? You gotta give the people what they want. They don't want that. Do a little jig. That's what they want. A little jig. A little jig? Yeah. I don't jig. Oh. We'll show them his new gibbet. Yeah, this is. these are his new Crocs he got for Father's Day, and he has a tractor gibbet. Oh, yeah. And these are Henry's. <laughs> Henry, you're a natural. Can me and Nora have some more chocolate milk? <laughs> Okay, so here's dinner tonight. On the bottom is rice, you can't really see it. And then the chicken thighs are chopped up. And then marinate the cucumbers over here on the right. And then some cherry tomatoes, feta cheese, hummus, tzatziki sauce, some pita bread. Such a really good, yummy meal. Good afternoon. It is. <laughs> There's people sitting on their porch across the street. Um, what day is it? Wednesday? Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. It's Tuesday and I'm with my dear sister. <laughs> and um, we're gonna go shopping. We managed to wrangle the kids down for naps and the husbands have the other kids and so we're gonna go shopping. I think my mom is joining us. She just is making her way down here. So there's quite a few little shops. We're in the Outer Banks in Duck specifically and in like downtown Duck quote unquote. There's like some really cute little shops. So we're gonna go there and just spend a couple hours. Yeah, should we take your car? Doesn't matter. I don't have my key, so let's take yours. Um, Allie's got the sexiest car. <laughs> if you know, you know. It's actually so awesome. <laughs> Tell everybody about it. It's really great. It really I have, is. I have a vacuum in the back. Which built into the car. Built into the car. It's actually a shop vac, but it's called the Honda vac. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so that's really great. And then we have the TV for the kids, which is awesome. Huge trunk space. We have a little cooler right here <gasps> that I keep wipes. <laughs> Are they cold? No. Oh, you, you can, didn't turn it like on. Like in the summer, like if oh, I go cool to the playground. Box. I've never actually used it, but this is how I imagine using it. <laughs> um, putting some water bottles in there and then like know go to the playground yeah. and I come back and they're still cold <laughs> <laughs> never used it though <laughs> but actually this is like a 20 I think it's a 2014 so it wasn't even it's not like super new yeah but, the newer um, ones must have even more crazy features yeah this well, is they like have, pretty tricked the out. newer one has a sliding seat it's called like the magic slide oh. so you can slide it over but the newer ones don't have these top air vents in the back? Yeah, they they took them out. I'm not, and everyone's so mad about it. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I, so I'm like, that's yeah, a big miss. good thing I have a 2014. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna have to sit in the middle. Oh. Do you want me to drive since I have three adult seats? Yeah, that's actually probably a good idea. <laughs> but we just did a tour of Allie's minivan for the vlog, so that's great. You've been saying you wanted a minivan for years. I have, and then we went to Broken Bow and we rented a. I don't even know what it was. I think it was a Chrysler or a Dodge. Yeah, something. And I was, I came home and I was like, I need this. <laughs> so my husband. And then you immediately got how I, to fill it up. <laughs> this is how I know my husband loves me. He sold it. He's like, a, he loves trucks and he sold his truck. And then it wasn't immediate. It took a few months. <laughs> he sold his truck and then bought me this. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, okay, okay, I was driving my up. old car. And then, yeah, we got pregnant like that night. <laughs> Okay, we've come into the car with more adult seats. <laughs> I pulled up the back row, but I don't think Mom would have wanted to sit It's in the separate po. Just saying. Help the couch. What do you have to say? What's your Whoa, look at you and all your lipstick. Has everyone got lipstick on? Don't but worry. Me. She looks back at me and she's like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good because she doesn't. Wow, look at you looking all like sassy good. Thank you. I'm I'm autuming. Wow. You're wintering. Actually. Yeah, I got very well. Like hot pink winter, winter, winter. Everyone's we've got an autumn, a winter, and a summer. That's so fun. We are out shopping and we are in the store, the Christmas Mouse. And um I always get the kids ornaments. So this year I'm getting a donut to represent donut Fridays or Dodut Fridays and a baby shark because our kids have just been so obsessed with baby shark this year. And Allie getting a little PJ mask, cat boy for Henry because that's his obsession, and a little flamingo floaty for Eliza because her nursery has flamingo, flamingo. wallpaper. She doesn't really have like an interest yet, so maybe next year. Yeah. 
so cute. They have everything here. It's enormous. Okay, so we're up on this top deck area because there's this cool store up here called the Island Attic, which makes sense it's called that since we're up here. And then <laughs> I just put that all together. And then this is just like a really beautiful it's shopping center. It's like zen. It is. Oh wow, look, it's going all the way down. So we're just walking around. It's really nice to just be the three of us. We never get to do stuff like this. Sorry. <laughs> You're not in the way. Getting this for me. Super long. I think it'll be perfect when I have a huge bump. Yes. And then Blair and I are getting matching Little Mermaid shirts for our girls. So, so super sweet. cute. And will you hold up the one I'm getting for Colin? Yep. Here's Nora's matching one. And then little Colin loves Baby Shark. So he's getting a Baby Shark baby shirt. Baby Shark doo 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 doo. Wow, Just in case if you, you didn't know how it was. <laughs> this is my dream one day to move to the beach and have a beach t shirt shop. We are in this really adorable candy shop. I love going into beach town candy shops. And look what they have. Isn't that fun? I Harry just Potter love buying Henry dumb stuff like this and seeing him light up. Because <laughs> they love it so much. They do. I know. <laughs> All right, mom, what are we trying? Oh, that's crazy. Okay, apparently these liquid gold thing is seriously $17. These were on um, Food Network. Chocolate Pizza Company, peanut butter wings. It's crispy rippled potato chips covered in peanut butter and dipped in rich milk chocolate. They are delicious. So let's look at what, if you can see the ripples. I show yeah, you. can on this one. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Wouldn't spend $17. No, would not spend $17 Good. on them. Well, maybe they were all <laughs> Probably. Hello, hello. I hope the wind isn't too loud that you can't hear me. Um, it just started to rain, so there's a little rainstorm blowing through. But my mom and I and Allie just got back from, um, from shopping, which was super fun and really nice to do, just the three of us. That's something that is extremely rare, so really, really fun. And then we came back home. I threw in a load of laundry, washed our two kids, meaning bathed them. Um, so all the kids got baths and then we just put them in fresh clothes and it's Riley and my night for dinner and we were doing a steak salad tonight for dinner. So Riley has been marinating the steak. Um, we're doing like a flank steak. Yeah, it is starting to rain out here. I can feel it. Um, so we're doing like a flank steak and on a bed of spring mix with avocado and red pepper and onion and cheese and all kinds of yummy toppings. Um, so. You can hear how loud it is. I haven't even shown you guys the beach yet. So I'm gonna go inside and start cutting up vegetables while Riley grills the steak for dinner tonight. But um, since this is an oceanfront home, which is incredible, let me just show you what, uh, what the beach looks like on this rainy evening. It is five o'clock right now. So let me flip it around. I am sure that the wind is very loud, but this is the house that we've rented for the week. So it has a reversed floor plan. So the living and kitchen is upstairs and the bedrooms are down beneath so that while you're in the living and kitchen, you get the view. And there's a whole complex of different stairs. Um, but this is, I think our third year staying in this beach house and we've been super happy with it. It just suits our family really well. Um, and there's enough space for everybody. And it's very convenient, of course, being, being beachfront. So that is that. All right, I'm gonna go inside and get dinner going. 
real quick, one of the things, the only thing I didn't show you today when we were out shopping that I got were all these different nuts from this um, company that's called Try My Nuts and Riley's obsessed with all kinds of them and so he sent me a list of five different ones he wanted me to get so I got the Southern Heat, the Jalapeno Cheddar, this one is called Butt Munch which is a barbecue one, this is the only one that sounds really that great to me, double dipped chocolate covered peanuts, yum, and then the last one, these sound okay, dill pickle peanuts. So my parent, I mean, my mom and Allie were laughing so hard because when we left to go shopping, I got this text message with all these different things he wanted from the nut store. So I hooked him up and then these are the Christmas ornaments in here. Okay, so I just got a load of laundry out um, to fold it. And I thought I would show you these shorts because I got them in two different colors and I'm obsessed with them. <clears throat> these are from Abercrombie and Fitch and the, um, the style or like the range is Curve Love and then they're called the Mom Short and these are the high rise. And these are like a cream color, which I really, really like. And then the ones I have on are um, like a distressed wash. And I just really like the way they fit. They're still a very modern um, fit, but the Curve Love gives you just like a little bit more room in the tummy because I have a little extra there after having my kiddos. And so they're just like modern and comfortable and um, I just really, really like them. They're not too long. I don't think they're too short. I mean, some people might like their shorts longer, but I think they're a very, like a nice length. And these are the exact same. Um, and I'm in an Abercrombie size 10. This is the women's 10. Um, I usually, right now in life, am between an eight and a 10. Usually more like a 10, <laughs> unless it's cut big, and then I'm an eight. So anyway, I just wanted to share them in case you are looking for some shorts this summer, and um, if you're a mom or not, but if you specifically, like for me, I had a hard time finding something that I felt like was still a modern cut but had a little extra room, but without being huge and baggy. And I feel like this mom short in the Curve Love range is just like exactly what I was looking for. So I will link them both below. But they come in a variety of different styles. But like I said, I have the cream ones and then these are like the mid, mid wash distressed. So, okay. I'm not, I promise I'm not stalling to go cut up vegetables, but I was just in here about to fold some laundry quickly and I was like, oh, I should show them these shorts because when I put them on, Riley was like, those shorts look great on you. And I was like, thank you. And then I walked out and Allie was like, those shorts look great on you. And I was like, well, thank you. So I'm like, I better share them in case anyone else is looking for shorts because I have found shorts to be one of the harder things to find um, that I like feel good in. And I really like, I also love the Curve Love jeans. I have a pair of those and I wanna get some more because I love them too, but the shorts, have been making me happy. Let's go cut some vegetables. A little dinner update. I am sauteing onions in here and red peppers in here just to get them nice and soft and warm for the salad. And then this is what I've already done. So we have a big, really quite large bowl um, with spring mix. And then we have some croutons, cherry tomatoes, avocados, and goat cheese. And then I'm gonna add the roasted red peppers and the sauteed onions, or I guess they're not roasted, sauteed red peppers and sauteed onions. And then we're gonna thinly slice up the flank steak and put it on top. And then we got, let me show you what we got for dressing. At home, typically Riley will make a homemade dressing when we do steak salad nights, but just to make it easy, we got this one, which is super good, sweet Vidalia onion. The boys are just running around having a great time. So this will be the dressing. And um, it's super yummy, healthy meal, especially since we've been eating all kinds of beach junk, you know, like chips and pretzels and all that kind of stuff. So this will be something just a little bit, a, with a little bit more nutrients. <laughs> right. Okay, Blair just finished the salad and it looks delicious. How about this? Steak. Aww. Your kids are having dino nuggets. Right, Eliza? <laughs> oh, I got it right. Thank you. Do you want some dino nuggets? Hello, hello, 
everyone and happy Wednesday. It is rainy, rainy, rainy today. So Riley and I actually just went to the gym. We paid for like a day pass together. My parents are watching our kids. And now we're gonna go see if we can find a little smoothie shop. Um, it's about two in the afternoon and we spent the morning at home with the kids and just needed a little, a little bit of time out. So my parents said, we'll watch the kids and you guys can go. Here are some things, but that's the smoothie shop is up by the grocery store. So that is what we are heading to find. We will let you know if we find it. 83? Yeah. We did find a smoothie place. We went to Island Smoothie Cafe and um, I got a summer sunrise, which is peach, strawberry, pineapple, and mango. And then I added some protein to it. And Riley got... I got, um, I think it's called the Gulf Stream Delight. And it's like ginger and kale and apple and stuff like that. Cheers. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it is six o'clock on Thursday and I haven't filmed all day because it's another rainy day. It has rained for three days straight. But we did get out for a couple hours oh, today. Her seven side coming through. <laughs> We did. I played pickleball for three hours. Silver and then we went biking for an hour. Yeah, in between Those four hours. Wow, mom. Allie and I did an at-home workout. They sounded like someone was torturing us work down there. No, we were laughing. No, we were laughing so hard. It was the most sexual workout I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, the girl looked so hot doing it, and we looked like <laughs> two like pigeons or something. Was, that's just genetics. <laughs> <laughs> So tonight is Allie and Tommy's night. We did, what did we make last night? Riley and I, oh, no, two nights ago we did steak salad. I didn't film last night, but mom did company chicken, which I've shared a bunch on the channel before. And tonight is hamburgers and hot dogs. So there's the buns, salad. watermelon feta mint salad, which is one of my absolute favorite things in the world. And the, the secret to this is really good feta. Baked beans. Baked beans. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, do you wanna share what you're having? What do you mean? Baby. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll cut this I'll cut this out if you haven't shared already. Okay. Well, we're having a girl. Another girl. Oh, Eliza's going to be a big sister. She's so sweet. I'm so glad she'll have a sister. I know. She's so lucky. My sister look into the camera or? What's this? I don't yeah. know. What Eliza, are you going to be a big sister? All the cans look like that because the children have been playing with them since we've been inside for three days. Yep. Finishing off the tour of food, we have some baked beans. We got a Caesar salad kit in, um, we got like three Caesar salad kits that we didn't order, so we, I don't know. Oh, don't some chips this. and some leftover. <laughs> crusty old mac and cheese. <laughs> some leftover mac and cheese we've reheated a couple of times. Microwave. Where dad says, nuked. <laughs> I don't think you've been on this vlog at all, dad. How are you having a good time? Yeah, why isn't he on it? I'm on, I'm here. I'm good. It's been a good vacation, it's been fun. A little bit of weather, but good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's been good. It's been good to see the kids. You guys are representing Bristol, Rhode Island. Yes, we are. They went to visit their friends there. Is that right? We did. They live, they live in Massachusetts, keep their boat in Rhode Island, and we went to Bristol. Wow. And these two over here are eating. <laughs> They're hot having a date, buns. eating hot dog, hot dog buns. buns with no hot dogs. And that is what has been going on on this Thursday. <laughs> Colin has been playing so hard. Are you sleepy? No. You want mama? Tell mama what you want. What do you want? What do you want to do? Oh, okay. He wants to go out. Of course. Aww. Now that it's 6.45 in the evening, it has finally stopped raining. You can see it's still wet. <laughs> so we're gonna go get some ice cream just to get out of the house for a little while. What did you guys get? Cotton candy? We have a beautiful view. Wet ones for anybody. I got this strawberry with sprinkles to share with Kali. Mommy, oh, oh, 
We're trying to see if we can get Eliza to take her first steps. Yeah, but first I'm going to see if Eliza can walk. Like this? Go ahead, go ahead. Walk it down. <laughs> Colin's imitating her. <laughs> if she did that, that would have been. Do it again, Nora. Slow, 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 Nora. Slow, Nora. Slow. 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 <laughs> she liked it. <laughs> Well, we've gotten about an hour and a half, maybe less. And do you see the sky? It is very ominous. So I think we're gonna head in. Allie. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hello, hello, it is Friday. We sadly have to leave in less than 24 hours. We have to leave tomorrow morning for the airport. I just came up off the beach and I'm having a little Coke Zero. Have you ever gotten like emotionally attached to a cup in like a vacation rental or an Airbnb? I've gotten emotionally attached to this. It's just like a blue plastic cup. But it just makes every drink taste so good. Today has been an interesting day because um, this morning it was overcast but not raining. And so around like 8.30 a.m., pretty early, we took, got the kids all rounded up in swimsuits. We went out to the beach, set up chairs and all of it. And then within about an hour and 10 minutes, it started, we saw like black clouds. I think I filmed some of this but it was just like black clouds. And so we hurried in and we got in just in time before a complete torrential downpour. Um, and then we did like lunch inside. It's like four o'clock right now. Yeah, 4.15. We did lunch inside here and we did naps for the kids and all of that. And then it got sunny again. It's sunny right now. And so we went back out there and so we've been out um, for the past like three hours or so, which is really nice. Sadly, the weather on this vacation has been not great. Um, probably the worst weather we've had on a beach vacation ever. And we've been doing beach vacations since I was, you know, six months old. So we just had lots and lots of rain and thunderstorms. But I'm glad that as our last full day, we're getting some good time outside. Um, so we've been outside all day. I just wanted to come inside and get a drink and um, a little snack. And then I think if the weather stays clear, which it looks really beautiful right now, we are going to do family pictures tonight. My sister is a newborn and family photographer. She's actually taking like a leave right now because she's pregnant, but that's been her career for uh, like the better part of a decade now. Um, and she's fantastic. So she usually does like a photo shoot for us. We usually do it the second to last night, but it was pouring down rain last night. So we're going to try to cram it in this evening, um, which I'm looking forward to. I'll definitely show you pictures if we get some good ones. But it's been a weird day. It's been kind of a weird week overall. Just usually at the beach, we have a pretty standard rhythm of getting up, eating breakfast, going out to the beach, coming back for lunch, going back out to the beach, you know. But we haven't been able to spend too much time at the beach because it's just been so um, stormy. It's been so stormy here on the Outer Banks. So... I'm gonna get something to eat and um, drink some of this yummy. Something about like Diet Coke, Coke Zero, regular Coke, really any soda, it just like tastes better at the beach. <laughs> so I'm gonna go have a snack, but I wanted to do 
a little check-in um, and I'll show you what it looks like outside. It's actually so nice for the first time <laughs> in a while. Look at that, it's not exactly clear skies. There's definitely some clouds, but it's nice and sunny and sunshiny. Um, this house is so sweet because it's right on the water. It's ocean front. Can you imagine just like living here full time? I would love it so much. Um, but yeah, so we're having nice sunny, sunny skies and oh, it looks like my kids and husband are on making their way in. They probably are done. They've been out there all day long at this point. So that is what we are up to. All right, it's about six o'clock now and we ordered pizza for dinner tonight. We were gonna make, I think we were doing fajita night and we decided just to make it super easy on ourselves. So I got two of the family sized Greek salads and then just an extra large pepperoni and an extra large cheese. And the kids are getting set up. Grammy just came in from the beach. We got ended up getting some beach time, which was great. So we're gonna eat this and then if the weather holds out, we're gonna go outside and Allie is gonna do some pics. <laughs> People are really getting to see your personality in this vlog. <laughs> Well, we just finished dinner, and wouldn't you know it, we have a rainstorm going on. Allie told us to just get dressed anyway. So, but Allie's husband's in the background saying that he wants to bag it. It's pouring. I know. This has been kind of the theme this week. Lots of rain. Wow, I mean, it look, look at it pouring down on the chamber. Can you see it? It's like. You would not want to be sitting there. <laughs> oh my golly. Look at old Lori. That's all right. You know what we've been doing all week? <laughs> oh. You know what we've been doing all week? If we, if we can't go out on the beach, we've been eating. <laughs> we really have. We have snacked. We've eaten. That's why we've done so well on food. We keep talking about how we've eaten all our food. Because we've been this inside is the best idea, though. It's Milano's, and you can just get two. Like, how perfect is two? Yeah, I had one after lunch, and it was perfect. Mm -hmm. And I just gave one to Henry. So you're just getting one. So I get one. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. It is a little after eight. I'm standing right by a white noise machine. So, like, not winning vlogger of the year here. Um, we, we did go out and take family photos. So I will show you them. I hope they turned out okay because we did them in a break in a huge, huge rainstorm and it is currently torrentially downpouring, which has kind of been the theme of this whole week. Um, but I think we got some good pics. taken by my sister and um, we're super grateful for her and so grateful to have those memories. The kids are really sleepy. Are you tired? Yeah. Um, so I just came in from our rainy photo shoot and took a nice hot shower and we are working on, Nora's watching something on her iPad and then we are working on just starting to pack. Our flight isn't until three in the afternoon tomorrow so we actually have quite a bit of time. Um, it takes about two to three hours to get to the airport, depending on traffic. Um, so we have quite a bit of time to get there, but we probably, the kids wake up around seven or so. And so we'll get up, get the family together, you know, all of that. And then we're just gonna go ahead and head to the airport, even if it's early, um, because I'd rather just know that we've done all the things, gotten a rental car returned and our luggage checked in and all that kind of stuff. That's what we did last year and ended up working out really well. 
Um, I think we might have stopped for food on the way or something, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog here. I could not look more of a hot mess. Sunscreen always makes me break out, and I even when I use the most specialized non-breakout sunscreen, just wearing it all week, I think in sweating and sitting on the beach, which didn't even happen a whole lot this week, <laughs> to be honest. It was still a really fun week, and we're really glad that we got to, we're going home. We're really grateful for the time with family. So I'm gonna sign off here. Thanks so much for following us along um, to our Duck Outer Banks, North Carolina vacation. And I will see you guys next week. Goodbye. You say bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye? He's so tired. Bye, guys.